Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk all about coral reefs. Coral reefs are big, miles long of things called coral. Coral are a type of animal. Here are what they look like. These are coral. Coral come in two different types of animals, soft or hard. They grow these ways to not only protect themselves, but also to find food. They have long tentacles and other ways to eat, and they can live to be thousands of years old. But because some of them are fragile, that means that they can break easily or get burned from the sun. So we have to be careful around coral so it can grow and give a nice place for fish to live all over the ocean. Aren't they beautiful? They come in all different shapes and sizes and they help the water stay healthy. So a lot of fish like to live in the coral reefs. So today we're going to make some coral reefs ourselves. Are you ready? So grab your glue, and here are some other things that you're going to need too. First, you'll need a blue piece of paper, a pen, some Cheerios in a bag, tape, and wait. You also need some flowers. Do you see any anywhere? Uh-oh. Ziggy, we need to go outside. Do you want to go outside? We need to go find some flowers. Can you help me find some flowers, Ziggy? Okay, then let's go. The first flowers we came upon were some Indian blankets, so I picked just one. Then I found some tall flowers for my seaweed. Then Ziggy saw some Thistles! Perfect! So we picked some of those too. Then we found some brown-eyed Susans and we were ready. So let's go back home and finish our project. Now we have our flowers. These are all the things you'll need for this project. First, let's take our Cheerios and we're going to smush them up. Because this is going to be our sand. I used a spoon just to make sure that it's all squished up and wasn't hard on my hands. Almost done. And voila, sand. So now we're going to grab our glue and draw a line all the way across the bottom of our paper. Make sure that it goes smoothly and move it around so you have some place to put your sand. Now it's time to put our Cheerios on our glue. Ooh, that looks exactly like sand. Do you see all the different kinds of texture? Now it's time to use what we picked for our seaweed. I'm using long flowers for seaweed and some tape to tape it down. Since they're so small, it would be hard to glue, which is why I'm using tape. Now I'm going to grab the long purple flowers that I found and do the same thing. I can see my seaweed already. Now I'm going to use my thistles to make some coral. I'm going to glue in here and here. But we're still missing all the fish that live in the coral reefs. So grab your flower and gently pull off the petals of your flower. Look at all the petals we got from our Indian blanket. These are going to be our fish. And we can even use the middle of our flower to make some more coral. For our fish, we're going to put just dots where we want them to be. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little. 
Bum ba dum, we have a school of fish. Now it's time for our brown eyed Susan. Now we're going to do the same thing with the middle for some more coral. We can put them anywhere we want. We're gonna put one here and here. Maybe right here. Hmm, everywhere. I also have some leaves to make big fish. Now it's time to grab our pen. This is when you can make details, like adding fins or tails onto your fish. You can also add bubbles or anything you want. It's just to make it a little more fish-like. If you don't want to add details, that's okay too. This is going to be a big fish. Hmm, look at my big fish. I can even put an eye and a smiley face. Cute. I'm going to make this leaf a sea turtle. So I need a head, one arm, one leg, another leg, and one more arm. Now I have a sea turtle too. You can make all sorts of animals out of plants from outside. It's beautiful. I feel like I could jump right on in and swim myself. How did your coral reef turn out? I bet you have so many colors and fish and seaweed and coral. I can't wait to see. Send me lots of pictures. I'll see you next time.